Police say a D.C. woman was driving drunk when she slammed her car into a man and his young daughter in Southeast over the weekend. Today, a judge ordered her held without bond. News 4's Darcy Spencer has surveillance video that shows the aftermath and shares how neighbors rushed to help the little girl. According to D.C. police, the driver ran that stop sign, made the left turn here, then plowed into the back of this car, went across the street, hopped the curb, and hit those pedestrians. Oh my God! Ring camera video from the crash scene captured the horror. A little girl and her dad were the victims. They were walking to the pool when the driver smashed into them. The girl was trapped under the car. And we were trying to pull her out from underneath. She was just laying here. Mariah, who lives nearby, ran out to try to help the little girl, thinking of her own kids. First thing in my mind is if this is my little girl or my little boy or whoever that's trapped under here, what would you do? I'm not thinking about police officers, fire department. I'm not instantly, I'm going over there to try to help. Firefighters were able to lift the car and get the girl out. She's still recovering at the hospital. D.C. Council Member Trayon White posted on social media that the girl is five years old, suffered multiple broken bones, and is expected to recover. In the ring camera video, a person can be heard screaming, I'm going to jail. The driver was taken into custody in a nearby alley. The crash happened at a metro bus stop on 4th Street in Southeast just after 1 in the afternoon Saturday. Witnesses say the child's dad was badly hurt as well. He started shouting. Um, his kid was under the car. The 32-year-old driver, Thania Venny, lives in Southeast. She was charged with driving under the influence, reckless driving, leaving the scene of a collision, and two counts of assault. People need to listen much more about the not drinking and driving thing. New drivers, old drivers, everything. Um, you can put a lot of people in critical condition that way people can die. According to neighbors, there was a man sitting right here on his porch when that car plowed through. Fortunately, he was able to get out of the way. In Southeast, Darcy Spencer, News 4. Thank goodness she's on the road to recovery. According to charging documents, police smelled alcohol in the driver's breath. She allegedly told officers she had a few drinks the night before the crash.